Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. On this edition of Positively Kelly, I have a really inspirational story out of Compton, California, which is quite literally one of the most dangerous places in the United States. Now, let me introduce you to one of the members of the Compton Cowboys whose experience with horses took him out and away from gang violence and into the streets for another reason, to help others. Take a look at this. In Compton, you join the gang, or you find another way to survive. You gotta make your own path. A lot of horses around here are throwaway horses. My horse was headed to the slaughterhouse when I got her. I've seen horses bone dry, skinny, haven't eaten in weeks. And we bring them back to life. Come on. I think maybe, did I save the horse? Or did the horse save me? That gives me goosebumps. There are 10 original members of this group who met as young boys at a nonprofit stable loca located in a semi-rural area of Compton. Now, all these boys were encouraged by their families to attend this organization and hope that it would be an alternative to violence. And as it turns out, it was. Now, Randy Hook, one of the cowboys, says, we're trying to be guys who wear Stetson hats and Wrangler jeans in the hood. All the guys claim they have found peace with the help of these animals. This is awesome. All right, this next story has a rough start, but like a lot of them, it has a great ending. With the polar vortex that has been hitting the Midwest, lots of folks are talking about how it's affecting the homeless and pitching in to help them. City uh, Chicago officials sent word for the homeless they needed to stay in proper shelters if they could get there in warming centers because the temperatures fell to minus 20 degrees. Now, first responders were called to the south side of Chicago where some people had a mishap trying to stay warm in their tented encampments. A propane tank exploded because it was sitting too close to a space heater. Now, no one was injured, thankfully, but it was like a bomb going off, so all the propane had to be removed. Now, officials contacted the Salvation Army to help these individuals that had no place to go, and soon after, an unnamed hero stepped up to pay for the hotel rooms for, for, for 70 people until the end of this week when temperatures get back into the 50s at least. Now, I absolutely love this story. And as we read earlier, a little girl was helping raise money for the homeless in the area. What I love about this story is that this guy that, that stepped up at the end was an anonymous donor. Now, so much of the time we want credit. We want credit for our good deeds, and this person obviously just wanted to help the homeless. The word tells us that if we boast about the good deeds that we have done, we have received our reward in front of men. But if we keep it a secret, the Father in heaven who sees it in secret will reward us openly. We tend to credit, we want credit for our phrases, for our thoughts, every deed we want credit for. But then again, why is it so hard to give credit to others or even a compliment? You're not diminishing yourself in any way by sharing the love and appreciation. A genuine compliment is something that can make somebody's day. We should never withhold any kind of good if we have the opportunity to make someone's life better. For some people, it is hard to receive a compliment. That's true. And for some, it's hard to give one. Let's be gracious enough to both give and to receive. And remember, everyone is dealing with something in their lives, even if you're not aware of it. So be a bright spot if you can. Jer, what do you have to say about all that? I agree with you. Oh, that's it. Well, that's, that's it. I agree with you. That is totally short. Okay. I well, don't know. Well, there you go. I was just saying, I totally agree. And yes. I think Cammie yes. Jenkins would agree, too. I think she would agree. She would and didn't you love that Compton story? I wouldn't, I tell you what, they know more about horses than I would. Well, I wouldn't know what to do. They said these horses are, were very high-spirited like they were, but kind of beaten down. So they brought them back to life, and the horses, you know, were kind of the underdog like they felt right. like they were the underdog. Where did the horses come from again? Did I miss that part? They, I, were, they, were, they just find them. Uh, they were at the stable, uh, out to pasture. Some of them were going to be turned into glue. Uh, Some of them were, you know, just going to be done away Now, you with. know, I have a fear of riding horses, but I love them. They're, They're majestic, beautiful. and I want them to live, and I want them to graze. And, and that's what they yeah, are getting to do. Which with is these great. People. I love that. All right. What do you